Welcome to New Review. Today we'll be taking a look at Virtua Tennis Challenge for the iPad and iPhone. The Sega Classic makes its way to iOS where you'll slice, lob, and unleash top spins competing against 50 players in 18 stadiums around the world. Unfortunately, the game isn't licensed, so all players in stadiums are fake. The graphics look really good, but the first thing you'll notice as soon as you begin playing is how choppy the frame rate is, even on the latest iPad. The truth is, after playing for a while, you'll just get used to it, but it's really a disappointment that player movements couldn't be more fluid. The game has a few different game modes, SPT World Tour, where you can earn money by progressing through matches to buy your way into new tournaments. You'll start out ranked at the bottom in world player rankings and must work your way up. There's Exhibition Match, which is just that, a match where you pick the players and settings of your choice. You can play singles or doubles, and have a choice of clay, grass, or hard court surfaces. You can choose three different difficulties, and I can tell you without question that very hard is very hard. There's a multiplayer mode, which can be played via Bluetooth for local play, or online Wi-Fi to play strangers. One thing about it though is the lag is really bad. My download bandwidth is 50 down, so I know that's not the issue. And then there's a training mode, where you're coached through several mini-games to improve your skills. As far as controls, you'll have four different schemes to choose from. Swipe, Virtual Pad, Arcade, and Gamepad. Two different camera angles can be used as well, the classic TV angle and a dynamic angle, which puts you right down on the court. One somewhat weird omission is the lack of female players, so if you're a fan of the women's game, you're out of luck. Also, there isn't a game save option, which should be mandatory for mobile games these days. So if you're in the middle of a match and need to go, you can't just come back to it later. Sure, you can just use iOS's multitasking feature if need be, but if you ever need to power cycle, all is lost. Overall, if you can get past the choppy frame rate, it's not a bad game. Even if you're not a diehard tennis fan, it's still easy enough and fun to pick up and play. If it had real players, more fluid player movements, and female players, it'd be a great game. All things considered, for the price, it's certainly a worthy addition to your collection. Check out our other videos, and as always, please subscribe to keep up with the latest reviews.